So this is an important day for me because this is the first Autism Career Pathway Assessment Screening Tool that I'm reviewing with Alex's uh, mom, Joanna, and we're going to look at the video clips of the assessment together as well as what we found out from the report. So before we look at... Uh, before we look at the video, I just want to highlight Alex's strength. Okay. So he's actually a very easygoing and he does communicate very well. Yeah. So contrary to what people say of Alex, because he has you and John <laughs> as parents, that he can't verbally communicate, but Alex is very, very communicative. And I think when he does his volunteer work, you know, and he makes he communicates using his smiles, facial expressions, his True, gestures. Yeah. So don't forget that. And I yeah. think that's a huge strength. Yeah. Just because um, he doesn't like to chat doesn't mean he's not communicating. He's, I, I think to, <laughs> to me, of course, and uh, to all of the patrons at mm -hmm. Milpita Senior Center, he's very, very social. Yeah. So that's actually a big green. So in this um, summary of uh, the screening tool, we use color coding. Okay. The green means he scored the highest. Okay. Yellow means there's areas of improvement. And red means that we don't see the, the, the employment. Ability. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, the, the milestones at all. Mm -hmm. So he, as you could see in this report, he actually scored mostly greens. Uh -huh. So in the area of self-regulation, he scored the highest which is I, uh, a lot of fives mm -hmm. alex was very very calm he i put a new thing in front of him because he didn't know any of these activities at all uh -huh. but he was very flexible mm -hmm. so that's huge i right. think again that's because of the hard work that you did with him uh, i think probably he by nature he's he's generally pretty easy pretty going. easy going so and not everybody is that way so we right. should take advantage of that <laughs> <laughs> so his self-regulation he was able to self-regulate within the first 15 minutes 15 minutes he loved our fidget box uh he used the sensory tools provided for him and he moved from one activity to another pretty well and he also communicated readiness. I'm ready. I'm done. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, oh, Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so when he was done, he was able to express that. Uh -huh. uh, so transitions were great. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the phase one. Phase two, we were looking at learning from process and his ability to make decisions. This is where we actually gave him uh, task that would require him to follow some instructions mm -hmm. um, and for him to do his best to complete. Okay. Uh, so one of the tasks was the marshmallow oh, structure the structures, yeah. building uh -huh. that you guys have seen pictures of that and he did really, really well. Mm -hmm. he, we provided pictures, photos for con the candidates to follow and how Alex just did his own thing. He didn't even follow yeah he did follow i think he tried to follow to buy just to, just to connect uh, uh you know linear yeah. he liked to make linear structures mm -hmm. <laughs> but he did really really well and again when he was done he announced i'm done now this is interesting because the thing that he struggled with when he was three yeah was block imitation Oh, from the yeah. from the brigands, and yeah. and we made like an executive decision six months into and it. It's like I don't care that. whether he yeah. can build block structures yeah. or not. He can stack blocks. He has the fine mm -hmm. motor skills to do yeah. that. But building structures, and I think that three D perspective uh -huh. is hard thing for him uh -huh. to do. To go from a two D to build a three D yeah. is a is something it's that's hard. A, that's a struggle. But I think visual for him to keep in mind moving forward, whenever there is a new task. I think a visual, whether it's photos, as photos with visual instructions, I think that really helped him yeah. to put it together. Oh yeah, and help yeah. him more, be more independent. Yeah. Too. yeah, yeah. And I think now the challenge is to actually tell Alex, just make it your own. You don't have to copy this, yeah. but make it your own. But see, that's a, that's an interesting from a mm -hmm. from a job perspective. Yeah. 
it may not be the right thing to make it your own. Yes, it may yeah. be like, this needs to be done this way. Yeah. And he's better and more comfortable with mm -hmm. a specific requirement yeah. of this is how it's supposed to be done and let me do it this way mm -hmm. than it is to be just sort of loosey-goosey and, yeah. and, you know, oh, I'll, I'll do this however. Yeah. So that's, an, again, that kind of distills into yeah. a valuable skill in a workplace, yes. right? Yeah. So if you have something you need to be done repetitively, yeah. he's the man. Teach yeah. him how to do it right the first time, and he's yeah. the man. But I think it depends. I think he needs to learn both ways. Mm -hmm. I think when it comes to, for example, cooking, yeah. he is very confident in doing certain things. Right. And if you tell him, you make it your own, mm -hmm. use your kind of seasoning. Yeah, you yeah. make it. You might not want to eat it later, <laughs> but that's important for him to know that he can make that adjustments himself yeah. without having to wait for somebody to instruct him. Yeah. On the other hand, when there are specific Mm -hmm. requirements steps, yeah. then he needs to follow he's that's actually the easy part right for him. he's good yeah he'll get yes. a list and yes. he will fit complete yes. the list yes. yeah. but if we're thinking about other possibilities other types of careers for him to explore out there i think he needs to be able to do both have some a and, little bit of creativity a little bit of, right yeah you know. and the supervisors have to know yeah. If it's a specific thing that you want Alex to follow, you can tell him so. Uh -huh. But if there are some leeways for him to make decisions mm -hmm. and see how far he could go, which yeah. is, I think, I think it's a great opportunity. I think it's a great exploratory opportunity. Yes. I think that he's probably going to tend to get anxious yes. because his one of the things that he doesn't like mm -hmm. is to be wrong. Yeah. And he, if there's not a clear right answer, he yeah. feels like he's wrong. Yeah. And that's why these sort of the open-ended questions are yeah. a struggle for him, yeah. and the the choice making with, that's yeah. not really a yeah. hard choice. Yeah. You know, hard choices is like you know, or easy choices. Yeah. That that's you know, if they're all equal, it's like which one do you want? And he's yeah. like he gets paralyzed by those kinds of yeah. things. If it's yeah. you know, spinach or ice yeah. cream, he can tell you he wants ice cream, yeah. not spinach. Yeah. But but if it's you know two books which yeah. one do you choose maybe yeah. that's not, yeah. not well that's maybe um uh, an example of an an exercise mm -hmm. of this good enough for me would be uh when he does his greeting cards you mm -hmm. can tell him you do as many as you want uh -huh. and see yeah when he feels like okay that's it for me today <laughs> you know i know what he'll do he'll okay. finish the whole pile He'll finish yeah. the whole pile, yeah. but but maybe he likes to be done. He likes to he finish, likes and that's there's that, some satisfying, you know. That's and, that's a good because I've had him sit quality. and do uh, calligraphy for more than an hour, right. and he'll do it. And I'm like, that's it's fatigue. Yeah, it's a lot of work to yeah. do, but he likes to finish. Yeah, and he likes to know. But there are some things that he can leave unfinished, right? And come back to if yeah. he knows that it's like there's no rush to get something yeah. done. Yeah. So, so we, we need to brainstorm and make a few goals. Yeah. Like how can we yeah. how can we let him use his creativity? Yeah. And that good enough thinking. Yeah. That's you know? hard. That's so a, we're that gonna have to brainstorm. The, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna stop the video here. Okay. <laughs>